Hello YouTube, welcome back to the first episode in our series um, covering uh, multi-user stations. So we're, we're going to have a good time with this one, I can already tell you. Um, okay, let's, let's get down to business, man. I, I don't, I don't want to waste any time. Um, I'm using a brand new recording software, so uh, what you're going to see that's a little bit different is this timer in the top corner here. And um, that that's gonna tell me just how long I've been recording for, and uh, you know what what we're looking at, and how much I can get done. It's gonna help me out, you know, more so than it helps you. So, uh, first thing we need to do is we're gonna build the smart booster. Um, to do that, we need a five by fourteen area. Um, you can make it wider or longer. Just make it at least five by fourteen. Um, oh. The dimensions of this room. I need to mention the dimensions of this entire room. Um, I fleshed out a room that is about uh, 25 wide by 40 long by 18 tall, I believe. So we've got a really tall room, and the in that corner over there is just a spring. Don't worry about it. It's nothing minecart related. I just needed water for this for a later part in this tutorial. Um, I've also fleshed out an area below that is four by eight by uh by three two 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 or three deep um i'm pretty sure it's too deep so uh you don't don't worry about it you just need um like four vertical clearance but we'll, we'll get to that in later episodes we don't need to worry about that right now so for the smart booster we need to start working on the smart booster um the first thing we need to do is we need to Place a 2x2 two two cube in uh, one of the sides of the smart booster. So I'm going to place mine here. You can place yours over here. Um, but if you do that, if you place yours over here, uh, you might you know, run into directional problems because of the southwest rule. And you may not be following me directly. Um, I'm not entirely sure which direction I'm in. I guess I could check. Uh, real quick for you guys. Oh, that's that's probably not how I should do it. Let's let's check what direction we're in. Um, we are currently in the. We are currently in the south or the west. I'm not entirely sure if we're in the south or the west, but. Just being in the south or west is is you know probably enough. I don't think there's you need to know whether exactly I'm in the south or whether I'm exactly in the in the west. So I'm placing my two by two cube in the south uh, or the west. So let's let's go ahead and make a circle, and then let's lay down some track, extending all the way to the other side, and then. Here we're gonna make actually we're gonna make a three by three cube over here, and I'm making my three by three cube in either the north or the east. And this cube we're just gonna bring up and curve around. We need a little bit of an extension here, and we're gonna curve around back into ourselves. Next thing we need to do is complete this this uh, three by two cube here. So add two blocks to the end, and oh, we actually need to, oh yeah, we need to break this. And I, when I place this, it might work, it might not work. Okay, so what we need to do to make sure that this works is we just need to place a redstone torch right here, right next to the, the curvy bit. There we go, and it should solve your problem. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to lay tracks parallel to this line. Okay, perfect. Just two tracks extending all the way to the end. All right, so we're gonna do a little trick. I'm gonna see if it works on this side first. Um, what you do is you break this, then you break this, and then you replace the bottom and then the top. Okay, it worked on this side, it worked on this side. Now let's, it shouldn't work on this side. bottom, then top. Nope, doesn't work on this side. So what we're going to do to solve this 
is we're going to place a redstone torch right here. And then we also need to break this piece right here. Okay, make sure you break this piece as well or else this curve is going to mess up. So place a torch here. Replace the bottom. Replace the top. Break the torch. And then replace uh, this final piece. And you should get the desired result. Okay, so now to check if everything is working, let's play some cards. And this should build up momentum fairly quickly. So if you don't have, we don't have the resetter built in, so it should, it should cancel itself out like within four minutes. Um, okay, so I believe we now need to build the reset line. So let's let's quickly build the reset line. Um, I don't have enough cobble. Um, okay. Where? Let's go grab some cobble really quick. Okay, so let's come over here. And don't mind this hole to the right here. This is for a later episode. We'll we'll get to that later on. Okay. So next, what we need to do is we need to build the reset line. And the reset line comes off right here. Uh-huh. Yes, okay. Comes off here. and then comes up and then drops back down onto itself. Okay, let's see. Here to here, to here to here to here. Now we need to, yeah, okay, cool. To there. And it's pretty much just track that curves around and drops the cart back onto the slope here. So we know that works. We don't need to put it back in motion yet. Okay. Cool. So to check if this reset line works, yeah, let's break this. We don't need that yet. Um, to check if this reset line works, let's go ahead and put a torch underneath at that corner. It was right there. Okay. Okay, now let's see if our reset line works as intended. Perfect, okay. So that concludes, that concludes this episode. Um, in the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down some pressure plates and begin work on our clock, so that's going to help us uh, count to five so that we don't run into perpetual motion and use the resetter to uh, reset it back down to zero momentum. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already.